Hey there guys, welcome, Dom here. Let's go through this presentation today. So what is this palm to plate method that you speak about? What's it all about, Dom? Okay, so perhaps you're starting out, you're perhaps maybe it's a restart, that's okay. And what I mean by that is you're starting to look at the nutrition side of what you do, but you're not sure about this, you know, macro thing, you know, how it works, what app do you use? And why all the barcode scanning and what's it all about? Perhaps there's maybe some confusion also too about what you see in all your socials about a calorie being a calorie. Calories in, calories out, energy balance, deficit, you name it, there's so much confusion out there. So then maybe this, consider this easier approach. Something that is quite literally is always in the palm of your hand something that uses your fist, a cupped hand, your palm, and your thumb. So step one, let's just go through some basics. What's this macro thing? Well, in a nutshell, macronutrients are the stuff that's in your food that are generally categorized into three elements. You've got your proteins, typically from sources like your meat, some dairy, eggs, etc. You've got your carbohydrates, commonly called carbs, and you're getting them from your vegetables, your fruits, etc., your breads, your pastas, as you can see here in the pic. And then the final thing you got is the fats. Now, I'm not talking about the bad fats. I'm talking about the good fats. So like your olive oils, stuff from your nuts and seeds that are out there and things like avocado. So what are they worth in terms of, you know, how many calories in a gram of each of these things and, and what do they do? Well, protein has, a bit like carbohydrates, four calories per gram. Now, what protein does, it gets broken down into amino acids within your body. It's used to make and build your muscles, aid and repair them, and it also helps make other proteins essential for your body. Going into the carbohydrates, as we said, same, four calories per gram and they're providing the body with the most accessible sources of energy we've got some quick fast acting carbohydrates and we've also got some more complex carbohydrates that are not so quick and acting fasting that take longer to digest and therein lines some of the problems that we have with the modern diet we have their fats they come in a bit higher at nine calories per gram they are pretty much the primary source of your backup energy once they're broken down into the fatty acids that your body can then consume and use. And then whilst it's not necessarily one of these things, but alcohol is one, we tend to overlook it. That comes in at seven calories per gram. And as I said there, what is alcohol? Simply gets you pissed, but it also acts like carbohydrates when it's in the body. Right, Odom, moving on to the next thing. There are a variety of ways that you can track this information that involve an app, MyFitnessPal, etc. Some trainer apps have them in them. But before you head down, what I'm going to say is that rabbit hole. I want you to consider the simpler way. So we're going to use our hand. And this is one thing that we do. I've done this myself. We help our clients use this as a way to work these things out. So, for example, this is a particular client who has got like a performance goal. They're training quite regularly. They prefer to eat a paleo approach. Again, personal preference. And the goal that we've got targeted is around 3,300 calories in a day. And they're going to get that from four primary meals. Well, as you can see, based upon their palm size, it's 12 palm side portions of protein in a day. So if I break that down into four meals, that's three serves of around 83 grams or thereabouts in their meals. They've got six to eight fish-sized portions of their veggies in a day. And again, that's two or three fists in a meal. They get seven handfuls of cups of carbohydrates across the day. So that's one to two in each meal. And then they've got seven thumb-sized portions of their good healthy fat. So one to two thumbs, about 29 grams of fat in a meal. And when you take those numbers, the 83 and the veggies and the carbohydrates, and you multiply them out by their numbers of four and nine, and obviously there's no booze here, there's no seven, you'll end up coming up to that 3,300 calories in a day. That's it in a nutshell. But this way, it's simple. It's easy for them to get and go and plate. So why does it work? Well, as we said here, 
and they're portable. They go with you to every meal. They are a consistent size for your reference, right? And they're also proportional to the individual. So if you're a larger individual, and I'm not saying larger as in girth, but you're a taller individual, then you're generally going to find that your hands are proportionate. Smaller person, smaller hands, etc., etc. So for example here, roughly a palm of protein is about 20 to 30 grams worth. So it's about three to four ounces you know, of cooked meat, maybe two whole eggs, and maybe a cup of Greek yogurt. A cupped hand of carbs is also about 20 to 30 grams. It's about a half to two thirds of a cup of cooked grains or a good solid medium piece of fruit. And a thumb of fat, seven to 12 grams or thereabouts, it's roughly a tablespoon. But again, for each individual person, we help you work that out. So you want to learn more about this stuff, what I call the palm to plate method. And there's a little thing called the rule of three that we attach to it. Perhaps you want to have give a go. That's fine. I'm happy to help. Easy as one, two, three, as we said here, just simply number one. See me on Facebook, on your socials, add me as a friend. That way, then you can shoot me a direct message. We'll share some information. I'll ask you some questions. And then more importantly, we'll probably just jump on a call with you. It's the easiest thing to do. Walk through who you are, what you are, where you are, and let's see if we can actually help you today with this palm to plate method as just one of the pillars that we do within our personal training and coaching program. Now, one quick thing before you go, how do I know it works? Well, this is the approach that I used myself. I dropped 25 kilos. That was me 10 years ago on the left at the birth of my daughter. Four years later, you can still see I'm a little bit like the Marshmallow Man in the Ghostbusters movie. Then a few years after that, I'd had enough. I'd had some medical emergencies and it was time and I went into this. I didn't want to scan barcodes. I didn't want to count macros. I needed something that was simple. I've got two young kids. I've got a consulting business and I did something quite simple. I also did step up my game as far as my fitness is concerned, the working out thing. There you go. A few years later, clearly you can see the kids are grown. I'm actually still looking quite a bit better. The only thing that's gone is the hair. And then that is me at my fight weight of 84 kilos, which is where I finally ended up after weighing in on the left at a whopping 115. That's it. My name is Dom McStraw. As they say, cheers. Let's see if I can help you understand how you can implement the palm to plate.